Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, though not quite so bald with this hat on. Uh, out on another walk with me is Martin Snow. Another cold day, Martin. Yes. <laughs> I've dragged you Whose out. idea was this? Well, you're the man with the knowledge, you see. Uh, uh, so that's... Uh, that's a, not, maybe it's not such a good thing. Not such a <laughs> not, wise... Not on a lovely, warm, hot, hot, sunny day like this. We've come well, off... this is sunny. Yes, absolutely. We've come off the A24 at near Worthing in West Sussex to have a look at a mansion house that sadly is no more. Uh, the mansion house is called... Muntham Court. Muntham Court. Now, I've actually had a request to come here. It was on our list anyway, but I had a request from one of our viewers to go and have a look at Muntham Court because there are bits, apparently, that are still standing, unlike um, many of the places that we've been to. <laughs> yes, we might actually find something for a change. The manor of Muntham can be traced back to 1066, when it was held by Lord Oswald of Norton, a Norman who held much land in Sussex. The first house was built by Thomas Muntham in 1371, but was destined to change hands a great many times in its life. By 1599 it was owned by Henry Shelley, but that didn't last long, for by 1741 it had been rebuilt and two years later sold. Less than a hundred years after that, Muntham estate was put up for auction and bought by the Goring family. Four years later, it was again put up for auction. In 1850, Muntham Court was purchased by Harriet Thin, or is that Thine, the Dowager Marchioness of Bath. She had the red brick frontage altered and faced with napped flint. The house passed down the family until the last of the line, Colonel Thin. And then the estate was split up the council buying the house and demolishing it in 1960. We're just coming um, t uh, passing where the uh, drive, there was a straight drive, uh, that, but the trees have grown over it now. Yes. And then there was straight access, which gave a very posh approach to it. This seems to be the place, is it? Uh, this looks like it, yes. Yeah. There's, a, there's a little bit of... Um, well, paving. paving, that was yeah, the word paving, I was yes. desperately searching for. Paving yes. on the ground. Yes. Um, a massive great big tree. Well, not so much an old tree, but a, a tree, which is what, drive, is growing where the probably well, the hall was? Well, yes, it looks about, <laughs> yeah, uh, but without the plans, but yes, yes roughly that. Roughly. It was quite a big house. Yeah, because you can sort of, if we just walk round here, you can sort of just make out the footprint. Um, yes of the house but yeah, by the, the look of it hasn't it yeah i mean whether it's 100 percent accurate with a bit of a garden but um the the rear has got this uh this hill behind us yes i mean all, all round it it, the, it goes quite secluded quite, then yeah oh yes yeah and very sheltered from the from the southwest winds yes oh well that's uh, that's and the idea. sun this time of year <laughs> um we'll just carry on walking around i can see a a little bit of a wall um, but we'll get to that in a minute because right. if we cut across here and go and have a look at the front lawn that was, it was. <laughs> um, <laughs> past the uh, the tree growing straight, in the straight through the house yes yeah, straight through the house through the servants quarters and uh, out onto the terrace yes this this, this, would, this, would, this would have been the terrace yes um, with us well still got a seat here oh yeah and then a, a, a longer terrace for walking walking or promenading up and down and generally showing off the ladies dresses for the benefit of the men. I was just wondering on the view there can you see Sisbury um, ring? No it's it's no it's, it's more... just round to the right. Yeah yeah but and you do get a great view of the downs. Oh yes here. yes lo lovely view. Yeah no, uh, and you're set back from the the A24 which of course would have just been a, a bare track I suppose. But what is it was just a Carriage, carriage, carriageway, carriageway, not, yeah. Not, not busy like it is today. Um, and but what's still here, and quite interesting, is the terraces stairs, yes. which would take you down. Yeah. You know, so you get that some sense of the garden, you know. That's it. And then this drop, which is a bit like a ha ha. That's a bit, bit more, bit more of a drop. Yeah. Um, so um, more steps down here. So uh, yeah, we've got the crematorium bit there, but if we walk along here, for example, you can see 
the, the two levels. You get the two levels of the of what would have been Muntham Court. That's it. And then um, you know, rising up there would have been the the house. It was uh, flint flint um, flint faced. Was it? Yes. Um, oh, look, there's some more steps up here. So rebuilt. Oh, you're all right. Rebuilt more than once, yes. like so many of these houses, remodelled, refashioned. Remodeled, yes. Yeah, yes. they may not have been rebuilt entirely. No, exactly. They, uh, Probably still the show, got the, the show parts. Yeah. With uh, this looks like yew trees we're going through here. Quite a quite a mixture, and then back. And then back into, into what would have been the front front entrance. Now on the other side, I noticed there was a wall that's still standing. Yes. Worth having a look at. It's worth having a look, yes. You've got to cross through, uh, through the hall and past the stairs. At least the... Um, through the library. The, the, yeah. the library, yeah. Yes, I mean, you can see the, the, nat, the nat flints. Oh, yes. And, you know, quite a lot of the house. Is this, the, so this part of the wall, is this from the actual house or is this a oh. part that's neighbouring up the garden? Oh, look at that, it's beautifully napped. The main outside part. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. There's a sign at the bottom that says danger, keep out, but there's not much to keep out. But beautifully napped. And you get that idea of what the house, if I come back a bit, you'll get a better view. Um, you get an idea of what the house would have looked like or, you know, part of the house and the, the, the wall around it. And such a shame. Somebody sent me a link to something like 1900, um, principal houses that have been either knocked down, burnt down, or lost over time. Vandalised. Um, or vandalised. Um, well, it's all or just, knocking them down. Well, or, or just fallen yeah, down over the years yeah. um, in our country. Yeah. And, and it was a fantastic to look at, and, and Muntham was one of them. Yeah. We, we recently made a video about Lansing Manor and somebody subsequently sent me a website with beautiful pictures of Lansing Manor, which of course I'd love to have included. At our visit to Lansing Manor, we looked at an ice house. That's right. Martin, I gather there's a, a nice house here too. Yes, there was one here and um, we may be able to see into part of it. Oh, worth Not going? Not getting to it, but, no, but worth a look. Okay, let's go and, let's go and have a little shufty then. Yes, which... Um, I'll follow you. Yeah. I guess they didn't want them to be too far from the house because um, they've got to transfer the ice before it melts. Yeah, so, so, yeah somebody's got to go and guess it. Yeah. Right. Well, I think we found it, Martin. There's yeah. a grill and a little entrance. We better try, and <laughs> try not to, to trip over. I'm going to go through this bit of wood in here. Here we go. The, uh, now this is interesting because, unlike the ice house at Lansing Manor that we couldn't see, we can get some sort of view. As you can see, it's circular. It's circular in there, and actually, if I just tilt my thing up and, uh, and down, it goes down quite a way. I mean, I suppose if you didn't know it was an ice house, you might think it was an entrance to a well. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, um, uh, gives you a better view, idea of what they look like. Yeah, no, it does give you an idea of what they look like, and pretty much each one would have been had its own design. But <laughs> you've, you've got to compact the ice yes. in a confined space, haven't you? And, and in somewhere that's insulated. Yeah, and um, you yeah, know this this would appear to work well. <laughs> well, these are these are obviously the plaques from people who've. Uh, been cremated here over the time yes um, since it's been the crematorium of course um, we've moved from the ice house of course to a different bit this this you were telling me was uh, greenhouses uh, there, there were greenhouses for for the garden you know yeah. containing the flowers for the garden um, you know the last time I was up here there were still the remains of them but they've replaced it with this tidy wall and uh, put these plaques up. Yeah, so it's very nice for people if they've got loved ones who have, you know... Uh, a way to remember. Absolutely. Right. And, I mean, it's a lovely setting, I suppose, if you're going to have a house that, uh, that has to be demolished for whatever reason, and it's here, it's nice that they, they've turned this into a place which is special for people That's rather than 
Um, just, yeah, bunny hutches, as you bunny, like to call them. Bunny hutches, yeah. yeah. Um, so, and the thing is, if you come up, you can access the property and or the, where the property was, the, the land, yes. and have a look round and, and be at peace as well. That's right, it's a lovely, peaceful place to come. So, thank you, Martin. Again, we've had a, another interesting step back in time and thanks to uh, everybody who's asked us to come along and look at these sort of things it's all great if you've got any suggestions do send them in uh, we'd love to hear from you and also don't forget to check out um, the ways to support the channel and make it all possible martin you've been a star <laughs> thank you and, and uh, pleasure as always pleasure as always and we'll see you on the next one until then thanks for watching cheerio i don't fancy getting uh, into the uh, fires here but I do fancy getting into the war. Yes. <laughs>